Um, I would like to talk about Wayne McGregor's Chroma. Um, this is something that I got to see a while back. Um, in the movie theater, um, Fathom Events did this version of it in the movie theater and it was amazing and captivating and I really enjoyed getting to watch it again um and this time critiquing it obviously I was looking at it differently um but it was still just I thought it was successful I enjoyed it I was captivated the entire time um his use of space actually really intrigued me because he always had a dancer one or more on the stage, in the background, standing still. I've never really seen that before. Um, I know it happens, but it, it's never like a constant thing, especially when he's always showcasing a duo, a trio, or a solo. Um, I thought, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was a really nice way to use his space. Um, in the beginning, he has four dancers, upstage right, um, well, upstage right, and, um, they're standing, and we can't see them, they're facing diagonally with their backs towards the audience, so we can't see, actually see their faces, and there's a duet in the center, and they're moving, and it's almost as if they're moving through, through hitting different poses, and moving out of them, I really enjoyed them it was kind of interesting and the the weight shifting of all of it was looked really hard um and really cool um yes then each pose either started or finished on a specific sound in the music there were a lot of intricate sounds at this moment in time with the music. It was very intense and just grand and they would hit a pose, hold it, and it wasn't like they were struggling to hold it or anything. They just kind of looked like paused in time and then they would come out of it and it was really cool. Um, then the four dancers in the corner begin to move and they turn into two duos, so there are three duets dancing on stage in the same manner that the first duet was dancing. Um, and it was just really cool. They were all doing something different, so it was hard to focus on one. I, I had to pause and go back, and it was just, all of it was so, it, there was a lot going on, but I wasn't overwhelmed either. Um, which I think is very important and a very difficult thing to do, especially when you have very captivating movement happening on stage and it's, they're all doing something different and everything is just gorgeous. Um, then about three minutes in, it's a solo or it starts as a solo and it's, the music is kind of slower and more ominous and the lights um, are dimmed and it kind of adds this extra ooh, ah, um, to the whole thing. And it starts as a solo, and it moves into a duet and a trio, and there's, um, it's very fluid, and they move through their torso, and they have these, um, almost bird-like arms, and they do their head like a, like a chicken, and that's something that happens throughout the piece is the arms and the torso and they kind of stick their butt out and it looked like a bird um that's what i got from that um then about six minutes in the lights flash really big and a gong is played and the music and the music changes and the lights are really bright and intense and everything is intense and the music is strong and very prevalent and there are dancers that step out of the set. So the set is all white, but it's, it's kind of like a television screen. And the dancers kind of just step out of it and into what I would consider the wild. I kind of viewed this 
whole thing is animalistic, animal nature, finding a partner. Um, about 11 minutes in, the there's a male trio, which is not something that we get to see very often, especially in the ballet world. Um, I enjoyed it a lot, especially because when you have three dancers working together, you can do different counterbalance things and different lifts and weight changing and weight sharing. But the way that it differs with men, men, their weight is centered differently than women. So for me, I can't do the things that they do. Um, at least I can't do it the way that they do it. And I, it was so nice to see just the the trust not only like not only the trust but the ability that they were able to bring to the table um this trio also does some movement in unison which i thought was really nice um this was kind of one of the few times we got to see um dancers moving together um so it kind of you stop you watch it it's bigger it makes um it makes the movement look larger or the space look larger um it's just that it's really cool it's really nice um about 13 minutes in it's a piano only and it's a very calm fluid slow duet and she has her back arched a lot reminding me of a bird um and she does the chicken head and it's really interesting and all the partnering that they do and it's not necessarily excuse me the man picking up the woman it could they could be holding hands and both doing a different leg or extension and it it's really nice to see um but the end they all come they're all on stage they're all dancing with their partners or trios um I think there's four trios and one duet and they're all dancing they're all doing something different and it's fast and frantic like the wild um like nature I really I don't know why but that theme stood out to me I think because the set was all white it looked like a television but not it didn't look like television it was a white square but that to me it's I usually see animals acting like that in nature through a television like through Nas um, National Geographic or all the different shows those shows are always on at my house because my grandfather loves them so that's kind of how I see it when I'm out in nature in the real world I don't really see the animals because everything is so built up and people took over which I don't mind I don't I'm not like a freak about that but I think that's why I associated the square with the television and the bird-like movement to nature. It's they're stepping out of the television and into nature and becoming nature. And I really enjoyed it. I know that that's probably not how a lot of people viewed it, um, but I did. Um, I think the costumes also, they were very bland. Um, they were almost like neutral all of them were neutral colors um most of them were the skin the flesh toned colors of the dancers and they were really just like square pieces of cloth um so very minimalistic which you don't see a lot in the ballet world a lot of time it's big tutus glitz glamour glitter rhinestones head pieces so seeing this and being able to interpret the movement without influence with the set or costumes was really nice to feel it was really nice it was not only creative for the choreographer but it also allowed me to be creative with looking with watching it which was also really nice um 
yeah, I thought it was really successful. Um, I think one of the most interesting parts would probably be the male trio. That's something that I don't get to see very often and I really enjoyed and I really want to see more of, actually. Um, I would not know how to choreograph something like that. I was absolutely astounded with it. Um, it was really nice to see. Um, they moved really nice, fluid, mo they, I don't want to say they were fluid because it wasn't like water, but I was never bored, they never looked stuck. Um, some dancers, they will hold a position and they will just look stuck, but these dancers didn't look stuck, they, they had the energy that, um, teachers always, um, talk about and, like, lengthening through your fingers, you can't really do that, but the idea is there, and when you can embody that idea, you can see it. Like, I can see it as an audience when that dancer can embody that idea. Um, 